Hey everybody, Aaron here. Welcome back to another anime review. Today we're looking at episode 8 of Made in Abyss. So, first off, Liza, Riku's mom, she's kind of fucked up. <laughs> Just to be honest with you, a little, a little bit. It's a little bit. Um, but I understood what you want. You know, she basically knew her daughter was going to be destined for the stuff that was going to befall her. And it, he wa she wanted her to enjoy that you know she wanted to make her decision not because she had to because you know maybe that she had to find her or because you know she was the one causing the uh, the girl to be driven to to become an explorer because she wanted to explore and thus why she even left her daughter in the first place it's not the most mom thing to do I'll, I'll be honest with you there but I understand what she meant by it I, I get the point of it uh, this episode was pretty interesting though. What I was really scared of was the whole training section thing because I was wondering if that were going to be like several episodes or we're going to have to like wait for them to keep going through this forest. And they did that pretty fast actually. They did less than like 10 minutes of the episode. They were really done with the training and it was more so just to see if they can deal with certain threats by themselves. Um, the actual amount of the episode comes in two forms. First off, we learn more obviously about Liza. We learn more about the Abyss in general. We learn that uh, you know what the White Whistles are actually able, capable of doing. They can actually traverse the sea via a key that is actually the whistle itself. So that's very special to them. Uh, what I also enjoyed was that you know she, it was this came from Ozen. Ozen actually told you know Reg and Rico about all this because she felt they need to know and in many ways also kind of fulfilled uh, Liza's agreement because Liza said hey if you know my daughter ever comes to you please tell her first off what she is so yeah that was messed up she's like yeah tell her she's from the uh, the cube that she basically or not from the cube per se but she came out of the cube after being kind of put in there you know as they call her living corpse which I, I feel bad calling her that like saying she's a living corpse just sounds so messed up but you know, she, that she is that. She wanted to say, tell her the truth about that. And she wanted her to know about various things about the Abyss. And to, to tell her about the exciting adventures that could befall them. So, Ozen did that. I was very surprised. It was probably the, the most heartwarming part of Ozen, to be honest with you. And what it looks like from near, here on out, Ozen's probably going to take a little back burner. Because we're going into the third floor of the Abyss. Which is the Great... I think it's, it's called the Great... Uh, something I, I missed exactly what it was at the end of the episode, so I apologize for that. Like, I, is it the Great Abyss, I believe, or something like that? But yeah, that looks scary as hell. It looks like a giant hole with ocean water around it. It's weird. It, I'm very excited about this 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 uh, arc that's coming up. I'm really curious. As I said, guys and girls, don't spoil it if you are past this, obviously, because I mean I am going to start reading the manga soon because uh, I do have to do uh, uh, some stuff for the manga. But I hope well, not you know like not. For it, I mean more so for an article I'm writing. Uh, I gotta talk a little bit about it, but I want to say that I love this show. <laughs> I really do. It's an awesome show. Anyways, I will talk to you guys later. Have a great blessed day, everyone. God bless you all. Uh, my 18F review will be probably coming out maybe in an hour or so, and maybe less than that. I have to go still watch the episode. I haven't done that yet, and then I will review it. Obviously, I'll talk to you guys then. Bye bye, everyone.